Mondays sort of up in the air for me, depending on if I've if it's been a, a big big week or a big weekend. If we've, if we've travelled away, then I'll probably have a Monday morning. I'll just get up, have brekkie with the girls, take all of the park, um, and then yeah, spend a bit of time with them and and just have a really rolling start to the week. But I don't mind getting up. You know, when you have kids, you sort of you learn what. You learn what uh, sleep is or their lack of, so you start getting up early. So I'm usually up pretty early anyway, and I'd rather get to the club, get get something done, and you know I can do do a pool sesh or a bit extra recovery after I do my fit club. So it's always always a bit different Mondays for me. Mine's a bit of a, a bit different, I suppose. I got drafted as an 18 year old to Geelong. I'd been working for two years though, because I'd actually enrolled, I'd, I'd enlisted in the army, and. Um, I had to put my en enrolment on hold while I went and trained for the Mobile Bush Rangers and then I um, ended up getting drafted so my army career was put on hold and I um, was at Geelong for eight years and then I sort of, I was a bit stale, there wasn't much happening, I wasn't playing much in the ones and I'd um, had a fair few injuries and you know things just weren't quite happening for me so I um, spoke to Alira and I'm a manager and I thought it was time for a change and um, the Giants were were probably the, the best fit. They weren't, I wasn't didn't have teams jumping off the page for me but um, Leon threw me a line and I was more than grateful to take it. So it's been a tough three years but it's been a good three years. Made some great mates. It's great to um, see how another club operates as well. The biggest thing was the timing of it. Um, I come up here, Isla was two weeks old, so she was born in November. And then uh, I come up here for pre-season training. And then every weekend I was just flying back to Geelong. And I'm um, spending the weekend with the girls, so I'd train Saturday morning and fly straight back, spend the weekend there, back here Sunday night. Not having our families around us was, we, we sort of lacked that family support. And we really relied upon um, our friendship that we'd made with, with Dylan Addison and, and Shaz especially because you know being in his role he's so natural at it, he's just so caring and knows exactly what to do when to do it but he um, he just provided us, us with so much support and, and so did all the club like anything anything I needed at the time um, Leon was, was always helpful you know always open for a conversation but we were sort of struggling a little bit and I needed to find a way to make some extra money so I spoke to Leon and I'm a qualified personal trainer so I said to him you know is there is there something that I can do maybe maybe I can go get a second job and start training um, at a gym or something and he actually said why don't you use the gym here and train the train the staff so I thought that's a bloody good idea. I went and asked around and would anyone be keen in, in doing some sessions and it sort of grew from there. It started off with pretty good turnouts at the start, I had 10, 12, 14 people. Now it's sort of something I do because I enjoy it and they enjoy it and I've made some great relationships outside of the playing group here at the footy club which strengthens my ties here as well and my wife works at the club so it's always good to have some of the same friends. I wasn't under any illusion that I'd be playing one straight up, but I definitely thought that I'd get a few more games than I, than I did. Not just to be a backup ruckman, but to reignite my career. Um, just with the moving up here with a young family, my footy took a hit, um, confidence took a hit, everything was sort of just a bit of a grind, but towards the end of that year, things started to turn around. We, we won the flag in the twos, which was awesome. And then um, rolling into the next pre-season was a lot easier then because we, we'd had a base here. Isla was a year, a year older. We had a lot of friends. We knew the, cl knew the club, knew Sydney a bit better. So things were always a bit easier after that first 12 months. And take this, the chef. This guy is great. He, he's been on fire. So hopefully he can use a bit of my homegrown produce to cook us something good. The feeling was it's a great win. Hawthorne always tough to beat. Um, they're a well-drilled team, but at the same time, there was a bit of like, oh, we, we had a chance to really put them away. So it was definitely a good feeling. I suppose it, we gained a lot of confidence from that game because we know we're so close to just playing some really good footy. Oh, she's a glint in my eye and she, she just, you know, every time I look at her, my heart swells. So 
it makes it more personal for me. Every time you get to get to play is a privilege, but each time you get your family in the rooms is a privilege. And I suppose that's something I always look forward to. You know, when I was growing up and and watching uh, older boys have their families in the rooms after the games, it's something I always you know secretly wanted. And now I suppose I'm pretty blessed to have that. It's pretty. It's a it's a rolling commentary actually. The old blokes Griff and I always have a have a um, bit of a laugh about we're getting too old for this, but yeah, Mondays are, are sort of something, they're getting smarter with how they prepare us through the week, so Monday's a real, real easy day, and sometimes, Sundays you wake up and you think, how am I still doing this, but by the time you get through midweek, you're right. <laughs>